A quick-thinking beachgoer may have saved the life of a toddler in distress in the waters of the Western Esplanade today. Police were called to the Western Esplanade shortly after 4 o'clock this afternoon when they learned of a near-drowning incident reportedly involving a two-year-old male. While police have yet to release any official information, we talked to 11-year-old Tyree Smith and certified lifeguard Philip Davis Jr., who helped to save the young boy's life. We saw the little boy in the water. He was turned side on and Sarge was coming out of him out. Then me and the girl pulled him out and we saw a boy with him. So we give it to him, then a bigger boy take him and bring him on the sun. And then all the crowds start coming around him. And we heard a bunch of hollering from some women. So we ran across and we saw the young man laying down on the ground. Um, at the point in time, he was breathing properly, just that he wasn't really too coherent. So um, after he started throwing up some water and stuff, we just turned him on his side regular position and uh, he brought up the water and he was all right. Oh. Meantime, police in Abaco are continuing their investigations into an early morning traffic accident which claimed the life of a Spring City resident. Sometime before 5 o'clock yesterday morning, officers at the Marsh Harbor Police Station were notified of a traffic accident which occurred on Don McKay Boulevard. Reports are that a 26-year-old resident of Murphy Town was traveling north in his vehicle as a 25-year-old male motorcyclist of Spring City was heading south and the two collided. Now, medical assistance was rendered to the cyclist at the scene by a doctor, but he died of his injuries. Police are encouraging the motoring public to drive with caution and care, and they're reminding you to drive within the speed limit and observe traffic signals. The Bahamian and American governments held observances today marking the American holiday Memorial Day. It's a federal holiday in the U.S. which pays tribute to the men and women who died while serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. Shanique Miller has more. Servicemen and women throughout the world put on top today for their extraordinary willingness to risk their lives for people they would never have met. History has shown that over and over again, our values, our freedoms, our way of life will be tried and tested. Like ceremonies in the United States marking Memorial Day, U.S. Embassy officials here in the Bahamas, as well as members of the government, held a ceremony at Clifton Pier, where a mission ended tragically for 10 servicemen in 1954. Present, World War II veterans and members of the Royal British Legion Bahamas branch. The ceremony became solemn when U.S. Charge at Affairs John Dinkelman offered this prayer. May God bless those who have fallen in the service of freedom. May he consecrate the last full measure of their devotion. And may he comfort the loved ones who still bear the burden of their loss. And especially may he continue to richly bless the United States of America and the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Noting the supreme sacrifice of these and other soldiers, Governor General Sir Arthur Folk says, the Bahamas is proud to stand by its ally on a day that pays tribute to the thousands of examples of selflessness. We come again today to pay tribute to those brave young people who died far away from home in the service of their country. And we remember also the many others who gave their service and their lives. Bahamians number among those fallen heroes, like Private First Class Norman Darling, who was killed in the Iraq War in 2004, leaving behind a wife and daughter. His family was present today as he was remembered. He and seven other soldiers were killed on April 29, 2004, when a vehicle approached their patrol and detonated an explosive device just south of Baghdad. PFC Darling's unit was conducting improvised explosive device sweeps throughout the city as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom. At the end of the ceremony, U.S. Coast Guard dropped a reef in the ocean marking the crash site of the MA-5 jet, which took the lives of 10 officers who died in the service of their country and the free world. Shanique Miller, CNS News. A special guest in town, former U.S. Ambassador to the Bahamas, Nicola Vaughn, was in New Providence yesterday after attending the 11th Michael Douglas and Friends Celebrity Golf Tournament at the Atlantis Resort. Mrs. Vaughn, after resigning her post as ambassador, said she's been spending time with family and helping with President Barack Obama's second presidential bid. She's also been working on a grassroots movement to get more young people involved in the U.S. democracy. 
Well, this Friday coming is Labor Day, and head of the Trade Union Congress, Obi Ferguson, is calling for a United Labor Day celebration. TUC President Ferguson is encouraging workers in the country to join in the Labor Day parade as unions reflect on pioneers in the labor movement. According to Mr. Ferguson, those who were instrumental in the 1958 strike set the pace for a modern labor sector in the Bahamas, ushering in landmark workers' rights. That struggle was so critical that we now have a labor department. That labor department came as a result of the 1958 strike. Old age pension came as a result of the 1958 strike. The right to sue your employer if you slip on the job, that came as a result of the 1958 strike. One man, one vote came as a result of the 1958 strike. today's doctor's hospital health tip. You brush, you floss, you rinse, you spit, all for the sake of your pearly whites, but do you eat yogurt? You might want to consider it. Research shows that yogurt eaters are less likely to suffer from gum disease and tooth loss. It only took a couple of ounces of yogurt daily for people's mouths to benefit. Research speculate that there's something about the healthy bacteria in yogurt that helps protect teeth and gums. They may help balance out the bad bacteria in your mouth just the way they do in your gut. Here are five additional dental do's for healthier teeth. Skip sodas, even the diet kind. Drink low sugar cranberry juice, it can help thwart decay. Consider chewing gum with vitamin C in it. Buy yourself a pack of straws and help save your smile because carbonated beverages are acidic which can erode tooth enamel and increase tooth decay. Don't be an overachiever when you brush your teeth. Too much pressure can damage tooth enamel and gums. So use a soft brush using short, gentle strokes. 